In this video, we're gonna be using McDuff Soap Company Orange Cream Sickle and the Smurn Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your OCDV and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And as mentioned before, today we're gonna to be using, this is McDuff Soap Company out of Canada, Orange Cream Sickle. And to me, the scent on this, and I'll show you the notes while I describe it, the scent on this reminds me more of, a, say, an orange Tootsie Pop, which is a, there's a Tootsie Roll inside of a lollipop. It's called Tootsie Pop here in America. And this one reminds me more of that than the orange cream sickle, which is tip, typically an ice cream. It is a pleasant scent, scent strength on it. I would put it in the low realm on a cost chart there. It's more in the low scent Skeletor realm than the, the mid-level, but it is pleasant. It is noticeable. The cost on this, $19.99 for four ounces. And that is in the fair realm, just in the fair realm of $4.99 an ounce, but it is shipping from Canada, so you sort of have to um, calculate in the cost uh, somewhat. I got this at the Razor Company, and that's where you can find McDuff soaps here in the United States. And of course, if you're in Canada, you can order direct. Here is the look at the soap. It is very, very soft. So from my perspective, it is it, it, it is at the limit of what I like a soap to be in terms of softness. Um, I find that when a soap is more firm, when I put it in the bowl, there's always soap left over. When I put that amount, which is generally about a half teaspoon-ish, it was completely gone after I made the lather. So the value on softer soaps for me, not quite as good as more firm soap. So I like a more firm base, but it did lather well with no problem. So no problem there. This is a tallow-based soap. I'll put the ingredients for you right there. And we'll move on to the razor. Now this razor today is the Smyrn razor. Really hard to say because uh, there's a look at it. You can get this on Amazon for 10 bucks. And actually right now there's a cu coupon. You can get it even cheaper than that. I'll link that below. But anyway, I got this on Amazon for 10 bucks. It's made in China. And it is like, uh, in design, the Mercure Future. Uh, some people call this the Baby Future or Future. I don't think you can really call it baby because look, I mean, it's very, very similar. In fact, that it looks a little bit, looks almost exactly the same length. The head is maybe slightly, slightly smaller maybe. Let's see if you, we put them together. Uh, yeah, the, the profile on the head is just a little bit smaller. Uh, the cost is a lot less. So this one is $9.99 on Amazon. This one is usually between $62 and $70. This one's 3.9 ounces or 112 grams. This one's 4.5 ounces or 128 grams. This one made in Germany. This one in China. The main distinction between the two other than where they made is this one is just magnetic. So you load it and it secures via magnet. This one actually presses on. It's got those notches that, you know, secures it. Um, but size wise, this one is, is close to this one. Slightly lighter, maybe slightly slimmer on the head profile, but it's, it's not a baby compared to this one. They're more like brother or sister, I would say, other than cost. It came with these blades, which is We Cut, I think it is. And it's funny because on this it says it's made in the EU right there. But the website is wecutchina.com. So I don't know if this blade is made in the, the EU or China. It doesn't really matter. Uh, most blades work just fine for me. This is double wrapped. And we're going to pop it in the razor here in just a minute as soon as I get it out of this wrapper. Set that aside. And there you go. There's your we cut blade. I usually just use the blade that came with the razor and this one did come with it. And so the way it loads is you just pop that on and it sort of, the magnet sort of secures it into place like so. And then we'll just uh, let the magnetic cap find its position. It looks like it's lined up pretty well there. And I don't think that top's gonna come off. The magnet is pretty strong. So I don't think it's gonna come off and this is adjustable. And it starts out at about a half and it goes off, this one goes all the way up to eight. So we'll start on the minimal setting and then maybe turn it up for the second pass and we'll see. We'll just see how it goes today. Anyway, four minutes in, I haven't gotten the shaving because I've had a lot to talk about. But anyway, on this name, Pat, can we buy a vowel? <laughs> There's a lot of consonants in that. And I just found that to be funny. All right, let's mist and get after it. Today's brush is the Rudy Vey. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of probably hard to see. My Rudy Vey TSE brush from years ago that was a gift from Tim Berger from Ohio. If, if you're out there, Tim, still, hope you're doing well. Captain's Choice bowl, as always. And we have a nice lather here. 
with our McDuff's. I do think this is a good quality soap and the scent on it is quite pleasant. It's not very strong and the soap is very, very soft. Um, so for me, you know, I've sort of fallen out of love of super soft soaps, but I must say this one did lather easily. So despite being soft, it lathered quite easily. And for, for bowl lathers, I think some of the softer soaps are, are uh, more difficult to use because you really have to be careful about the water because you can drown them pretty easy. But as you can see there, no problem with, you can see that hydration in there, just hanging in there, no problems. I did not have any problem lathering this one at all. It, it wasn't finicky, but it is super, super soft. I would like to see a little more firm base myself, but that's just my preference. It doesn't, you know, preference is preference. And uh, they all work pretty well for the most part. Okay, let's set that aside. I'm getting more scent now that it's on my face. You know, it's uh, certainly increased a little bit, but off the tub, it's it's in the low in the low range. Okay, let's take our first few strokes here with our Smyrn razor. It's kind of hard to say, and it it, it does um, it definitely reminds me of the future. Future, however you say that. It feels a lot like it um, right out of the gate. For me, it it, um, it feels a lot like the Merker Future. The head is so similar. The entire razor is actually so similar. It just, it will remind you very much of the Future. But the difference is it's 10 bucks versus, you know, 60 to 70. So, you know, you might, if you have been wanting to try something like a Future, and there are other Future clones on the market, of course, that are inexpensive. But if you've wanted to try one for not a lot of money, this one um, might do it for you. Seems to be shaving well as far as that goes. I'm not having any problem, let's put it that way. Pretty smooth. I don't think the blade would probably be my favorite, but I always like to try the blade that comes with a razor just because I figure that's what the manufacturer recommends. And no problem. It's just got those tiny rinse ports down there, which water doesn't even come out. But again, as I've been saying this week, if your lather's on point, it'll rinse off the razor regardless. There uh, are a number of razors that don't have rinse ports and they rinse just fine. If, you, if you've got hydration in your lather, it'll come right off. Just give it a burst of water there, comes right off, no problem whatsoever. And so I've enjoyed the first pass. I would say on its minimal setting, it's definitely mild. You can still feel a little blade even on the med uh, the minimal setting. The McDuff's Creamsicle here, good quality, good slickness. I don't think you're, you'll are you have any quality problems with this uh, soap offering. I think it's quite decent. So let's turn this up a little bit. Let's see, where are we going to go? Let's go up to about four and a half for the second pass. And maybe we'll even adjust that in the middle of the pass because I'm already at uh, eight minutes and I'm trying not to make these videos super long because I make so many. I know I'm asking a lot of your time and I try to be respectful of that. All right. The McDuff soap, definitely good quality, like I said. The scent on this one, I would say it's not a home run for me. I prefer something that's like it, but I think a little better in terms of scent is Sterling Pharaoh's Dreamsicle. And we'll use that um, uh, that splash today. It has a lot more citrus pop or orange pop to it. It is to me more like a creamsicle, the actual ice cream than this one. But this one is quite pleasant and unoffending. And I think the soap quality is good. If you've been uh, looking at McDuff's and considering it, and you're like, uh, you know, I don't know. I would say on a quality basis, um, it's a good, you know, this is, I think they're ver I think it was listed as their version three base or something like that. Um, no funk or anything like that to the base. It smells nice, pleasant. It's an enjoyable scent. I don't know if it's enough to be a keeper for me because it's not, um, it doesn't distinguish itself really from some of the other soaps I have that have a similar scent. Similar scent being something like maybe Organism 46B from PAA, in the same realm, not exactly, or Pharaoh's D Dreamsicle from Sterling. I prefer both of those to this one. However, this one is very nice 
and very pleasant. I just know, I don't know if it makes the keeper cut. Um, but I'm definitely not um, put off by it in any way. I would just call it pleasant, nice to use. All right, let's get going for pass number two, and I'll probably keep this shave today to two passes. I'm definitely getting more blade feel on now that I've turned it up. Feels nice and efficient. First setting was pretty mild there. Very nice. You might hear a little feedback there. Again, the razor rinses quite well. The water's not even really coming out. There was those rinse ports. So sometimes the uh, rinse ports, I think, are more of a visual. Because a lot of times stuff doesn't even come out those rinse ports, honestly. Of course, when I'm rinsing my razor, I rinse it this way. You know, and most time uh, the rinse ports aren't really all that important. From my perspective, anyway. So let's see how we continue to do. Again, the soap. Plenty of slickness on a quality basis, no problem. No problem whatsoever. We'll do a sort of residual pass here. Just go across. And again, no problem. This eraser does feel very similar to the Merker Future, or Future, whatever you want to call it. Shaves very similarly, I would say. For 10 bucks, not a bad shaver at all. That magnet is keeping everything in place. I haven't had any issues at all with it. Um, so I'm probably just going to leave it on four and a half for this shave and finish it out on this setting. And then what we'll do at some point is we'll compare this one to the future side by side. And I know I have a lot of those comparisons that I have to get to, but I can only shave once a day. <laughs> I have so much uh, content planned and stuff I want to get to, but it just takes time. And if I could shave more than once a day, that would be great because I could uh, get into some of these comparisons and, you know, there's always stuff waiting. So you can only do so much. But the razor has shaved well and the McDuff soaps, um, the creamsicle has been very nice today. Nice and pleasant, relaxing sort of scent. It's not super bursty or super strong. Just pleasant, something you go, okay, this is nice, you know. Not gonna blow your socks off, or at least it doesn't blow my socks off. Um, but it's nice, and I'm hoping to get a real hit from McDuff's. This is only the second one I've tried, and it is good, and I do like it, but it's not that home run just yet. And I tried the the lychee, is a stone fruit, and that one I, I wasn't crazy about the scent on. And this one I do like, but not love, so hopefully the next McDuff's I use will be a hit and I do have um, I do have coast to coast in the waiting in the wings and that might be the one so we shall see but it is a good quality soap and I would say you can uh, try it with confidence as far as that goes just doing a little touching up here on residual and uh, I think we've had a pretty good shave today this razor at 10 bucks don't know how how well it will hold up over time, but from the perspective of a first use, it's not bad, it's capable, I'm sure, of being quite efficient. If you turn it all the way up, I only went to like medium today and it was plenty efficient enough, so I enjoyed it. All right, let me rinse and then we'll come back, get into the post, stay tuned. And all right, we are back in off cam, we did a warm water rinse to remove the soap and then we applied our alum, there was no stinging, so that was a smooth shave. Although I must say, I didn't think the blades were the smoothest I've ever used, but it came out okay. I don't think the blades are anything exceptional, uh, to be honest with you. Following the alum, we did a cold water rinse and then we towed off with our Lancaster towel. Don't forget this coming Saturday, there will be a drop for Lancaster. So follow uh, Lancaster Razor Works on Instagram if you're interested in that. So today we used the Orange Creamsicle from McDuff's Soap Company. I think you can certainly try McDuff's with confidence. If you've never tried it and you're in the United States, you can check it out at the Razor Company. It is definitely a good quality soap. I did enjoy it. This scent didn't blow me over, but it is pleasant. It's certainly enjoyable, but I think if I were to pick between this one and Sterling Pharaoh's Dreamsicle, I would choose Sterling Pharaoh's Dreamsicle if you're looking for more of a, a brighter creamsicle sort of scent. But this one is good in its own right, and it's it's worth trying, I do believe. I did enjoy it. The razor was the Smyrn, or however you say this, right there. <laughs> uh, 
Honestly, no problem whatsoever with the razor, the magnet held on there tight. It's 10 bucks or actually less with the coupon. They have a little clip coupon on Amazon right now. Um, actually, I enjoyed it. I don't think it's a baby future because it's nearly the same size, slightly smaller and lighter, but not um, not by much. Um, it was a decent shaver for 10 bucks. If you've been looking to try something like this, you know, it might be worth a, worth a shot. I did enjoy it. Uh, we used our Rudy Vey. Uh, TSC brush and of course our Captain's Choice bowl and we shall finish it off today with Pharaoh's Dreamsicle which is the scent I've been um, referencing that I think is probably more like Creamsicle and it's brighter and it has more pop which I personally like. If you're looking for a scent that's more subdued the M McDuff's might be more to your preference but this one you get that you know that really bright orange Creamsicle vibe and uh, I prefer this one of the two, but both are nice and pleasant and enjoyable. So, thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Till next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.